This episode of CBTV Idaho is being sponsored by the Eastern Idaho Workforce Training Center. I'll tell you more about them in a minute, but first, here's our top stories. Today on CBTV Idaho, we're going to announce an acceleration in interchange construction by the Idaho Transportation Department. We're going to discuss an update on the 17th Woodruff intersection construction, and we're going to report on pothole repairs that took place on Yellowstone Highway last week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Tyson, and you are watching Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Welcome back everyone to CVTV Idaho. My name is Tyson and I'm your video journalist for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If this is your first time on the channel, CVTV is your go-to resource for all the construction and development news that is happening in your local area. If you find value in the content that I provide for you every week, make sure you show your support by hitting the like button below the video. You can also subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, on Facebook. We are also available on Instagram. Let's start this off with our local job construction post lead. So right now, WorkSteer LLC has an immediate need to fill five different positions. All these positions are local to Idaho Falls. They're all full-time, entry-level, and they have a salary range between thirty dollars to $50,000. We have things such as carpenters, apprentice plumber, journeyman electrician, apprentice electrician, and journeyman plumber. So. All the information on all these positions as well as how to apply for them can be found in a link in the description below this video. First story, we're going to discuss the pothole repairs on Yellowstone Highway. So the Idaho Transportation Department began working in Idaho Falls to repair potholes on Yellowstone Highway moving north from Pancarry Drive last Thursday. Traffic holdouts were in place throughout the day, but all major potholes were successfully filled. They're wanting to let you know that if you would like to report a pothole problem in your line of commute, you can do so through the link that I'm going to provide in the description below the video. If you see any construction projects going on in your area that you would like to know more about, make sure you let me know in the comment section below the video. Let's hit story number two, the update on the 17th and Woodruff intersection improvement project. So plans, they're still underway for the 17th Street uh, Woodruff intersection project. Obviously, they did not take place during the the uh, originally stated date of the 13th of March is when they had planned on beginning. Obviously, that did not happen. I have an update for you. So the project, uh, if you don't know about this project, the project is to add turn lanes in each direction as well as additional left turn lanes in all four directions. Some water lines are also going to be replaced as well as new installation of storm drains. So I spoke to a representative from Idaho Falls Public Works who gave me this update that as of right now, the contractor is planning on starting the week of the 26th. The plan is to get each corner done with curb and sidewalk, then do the main road work. According to their timeline at this point, they plan on having this construction work done by the first part of October. Before we get to our top story, I want to share a quick message from our sponsor, the Eastern Idaho Workforce Training Center. Are you an employee that would like to develop the skills of your team? Or are you an individual who would like to enhance and develop your own skills? The Eastern Idaho Workforce Training Center is exactly the place to do just that. Although sponsored by CEI, this is a unique center in the area because it's driven by you, the business. It is right in the tagline, industry-led, community-supported. This center focuses on high-demand trades in the area, such as construction, manufacturing, HVAC, plumbing, heavy equipment, and so much more. So I encourage you to take the time to learn about it. It could be just what you're looking for to build a better workforce. You can contact Penny Lyon at 208-535-5409 or you can email her at penny.lyon at cei.edu for more information. Now let's get on to story number three. With the arrival of spring, the Idaho Transportation Department is now ramping up construction at the system interchange in Pocatello. As part of Governor Little's Leading Idaho Initiative, the system interchange is being redesigned to replace aging bridges built in the 1960s and to improve traffic safety. While work at the interchange continued throughout the winter, in the coming weeks, ITD's contractor will be placing girders for the I-15 northbound bridge. This is going to necessitate rolling slowdowns, delays, and short detours around the I-86 to I-15 ramp leading from Chebuck toward Blackfoot. 
Additionally, as work progresses into the first week of April, the Chubbuck Bridge is going to be demolished. This is going to be done in stages with traffic detours through Chubbuck at night. The first closure will be for northbound traffic and then the second will be for southbound I-15 traffic. So other projects are also going to see ramped up operations, including the Fort Hall interchange and bridge work on the I-86. With unprecedented funding made available for construction, Idaho motorists will continue to see increased activities on Idaho's highways. So to protect Idaho workers and other motorists, the Idaho Transportation Department is asking Idaho travelers to follow work zone speed limits, be patient, and plan for extra time to travel to their destinations. I'm also going to throw in, make sure that you give the construction workers a big thumbs up. Let them know that you appreciate all the hard work that they are doing to making your community and your state a safer and more efficient place to live. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. My name is Tyson. I'm your video journalist for Construction Business TV Idaho. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button below the video and subscribe to Construction Business TV uh, however you want to. You can follow us on YouTube, Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. We're here every Tuesday at 4 o'clock. And we look forward to chatting with you next Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for your time. Drive safe.